and thank you very much for this opportunity for me to share uh, my story and something I'm very passionate about. And it's a new technology framework uh, to help CIOs and it's called Technology Business Management or TBM. And I'm hopefully gonna explain to you in the next few minutes why every CIO needs to implement this framework. So uh, Ken mentioned my background, a uh, long time CIO, been involved with a number of technology organizations, CIO organizations worldwide in my tenure and, and even today. Uh, and current chairman of the board of the Technology Business Management Council. So let me share my story and how I came to understand and really be passionate about this. So imagine coming out of the Great Recession and our company had um, just really shut down about 30% of our offices, 30% of the staff, and here it is budget time. And here comes Larry into the budget meeting with the CFO and CEO. And I go through my hour long presentation and I end up asking for more money because of all the demands from the business uh, leaders on IT. And at the end of my presentation, the CEO looks at me and says, well, Larry, I understand every word you said, but you still haven't told me and I still don't know if we're spending too much on technology or not enough on technology. Uh, that didn't happen once, that happened two years in a row, the exact same scenario. And I knew I really needed to figure out how to get transparent with the spend of technology and how to communicate that to business leaders in their language and not IT speak. And it just so happened that uh, about a month or two later, I was invited up to Microsoft's headquarters to um, a CIO event that was hosted by Microsoft's CIO then, Tony Scott, who later became the US government CIO under uh, Barack Obama. Um, but Tony invited me up there and he explained, he gave his story and he said, you know, uh, the product managers at Microsoft would go to Steve Ballmer, then the CEO, and complain to him uh, when their product wasn't doing very well and say, you know, Steve, my product would be profitable if it weren't for this IT allocation that corporate IT and Tony Scott keep hitting me with. Um, so again, Tony said, I got to figure this out and get more transparent. So he showed us his CIO dashboard, this tool that he was using to actually give those product managers and owners levers that they could pull to manage their cost of IT. So I was astonished and said, wow, that is exactly the exact same problem I have. So after the session, I went to Tony and I said, I have, I'm sure that Microsoft, you know, you built this tool, it's really cool, I have to have it, uh, or I'm not sure I'm gonna survive much longer in my role. Uh, and he said, you know, I, I wish that Microsoft, I wish we would have uh, invented this. Um, it's actually at the time, it was a startup company called Aptio. And he said, you ought to check it out. So I got back to my office in Southern California, checked them out, brought them in, did a proof of concept, and within 90 days, uh, really started getting what I call my aha moments and realizations that uh, I can really save a bunch of money and learn a lot of insights uh, around the technology spend and really be able to give the business people the levers that they need. So what is the challenge that we're really trying to solve? And what do I really wanna get uh, the hit home today? So next slide, please. So the challenges are really around financial transparency. And every CIO that I've talked to has this issue of how do, how do they explain to business leaders the value they're getting for the money that the business leaders are spending on technology? And how do they show business leaders and the CFO uh, that they're spending the dollars on the right initiatives? That's always very difficult to do. Prioritizing, what, are we, what projects do we want to fund? Uh, what you know, initiatives are the top priorities for the organization and the corporation? And you have to be able to do that during varying times. As an example, um, we had situations where interest rates were rising and the division uh, that manages uh, refis uh, was struggling, obviously, because people stopped refinancing their homes. And our commercial division was growing like gangbusters. Well, we were spending lots of money on the first division and when we realized that, I uh, was able to share that information with those two division presidents and my boss 
and say, I think we need to rethink this spend that we're doing in this project. So I think we should probably slow down projects of the first division and ramp up the commercial projects. And the division presidents were one amazed that we had all this data right at our fingertips. And it was the absolute right decision to make. And so the key was, how can a CIO run IT like a CEO? So how does a CIO run IT like a business? And the really goal here is how do you find money uh, out of your budget that uh, I call run the business dollars? And those are the things that the data center keep the lights on kinds of stuff that you have to do. But you can do it more optimally if you really understand the spend across all the different uh, aspects of technology and IT. And what I found is we spent a lot of money that we could actually take and shift that to really grow and transform the business initiatives and really drive customer satisfaction projects and customer initiatives and not have to go ask for more money from the business. So that was a huge revelation and something that was very powerful. So how do we do this? And really what is technology business management? So if we go to the next slide, if you think about it, finance, the CFO, has the enterprise resource planning, ERP tools like SAP, Oracle at their disposal. Sales managers, well, they've got the customer relationship management tools like Salesforce. Uh, HR heads have uh, human resource management tools like Workday. Marketing has uh, revenue performance management tools, but CIOs really haven't had a tool until now. And if you click, uh, there's a new strategic category for IT. Uh, so one more click on this slide, it should come up, and that's technology business management. And again, it's a fairly, fairly new framework. It uh, was really kind of invented and has really grown in the last, I would say, five, six years uh, to the point where across the world, uh, the organizations, the IT leaders that are using technology business management account for over $1 trillion of IT spend. So as you can tell, it's a big deal and it is continually growing. So my last slide is well, what really is technology business management? And this is just a definition I really like to use. It provides technology leaders with standards and validated best practices and the ability to communicate the cost, quality, and value of the IT investments to the business partners in their language. And the TBM Council, which I talk about here is kind of next steps uh, that I'm the chairman of, it's a nonprofit organization it's made up of over 11,000 uh, worldwide CIO and senior IT leaders that have adopted the TBM practice. Um, again, I mentioned it's a nonprofit and our sole goal and my sole goal is to promote the TBM framework to really help CIOs be more successful in their roles. And that's really the summary of this, or this presentation. The takeaway next steps, I would really strongly encourage each of you to talk to your chief information officers, have them go to tbmcouncil.org. Um, it's where all the information is about the TBM Council. And again, if we're a nonprofit, it's free to join, please sign up. And there's a lot of information about the standards. There's a taxonomy that has been built on how to get started with TBM to ingest the data out of your GL, out of your uh, project management tools, on and on and on. And there's also a handy book, uh, TBM, the four value conversations CIOs must have with their business. So that is my presentation. And I encourage everybody to think about technology business management, feel free to reach out to me directly at lwggodek at gmail.com or via LinkedIn. Thank you.